Sketch the curve by using the parametric equations to plot the points. Indicate with an arrow the direction in which the curve is traced as t increases. And we have t goes from 0 to pi over 2. To sketch the curve by using the parametric equations given to us as x equals cosine square t and y equals 1 minus sine t, where t goes from 0 to pi over 2, I have everything ready as you could see. The table takes us from 0 to pi over 2, uh, will be stopping at 30 degrees and 60 degrees. I eliminated the 45 because we don't need every single point, we just need the graph and show how it's traced. Uh, at the bottom side right here I do have uh, enough information in case if you wonder about some values for sine and cosine for some angles that goes from 0 to 90 degree. So when t equals 0 cosine 0 is 1 you could see it right there and sine 0 is 0 because in the unit circle cosine comes from the x coordinate and sine comes from the y coordinate so when t equals 0 we have x equals cosine 0 being squared which is 1 squared and that is 1 when it's pi over 6 you could see from the graph at the bottom side that is cosine equals red 3 over 2 so we have red 3 over 2 being squared. Red 3 over 2 being squared, which is 3 fourth. Pi over 3. Cosine is red 2 over 2 from uh, this one right here. As I mentioned, I skipped the 45. So we have one half for cosine squaring it will be one half square which is one fourth and when it's pi over two cosine is zero you could see on the graph that is cosine 90 degree which is zero square it which is stays zero going for the y coordinate when t equals zero y is uh, 0 so 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 equals 1 at pi over 6 sine is 1 half so we have 1 minus 1 half and that is 1 half when it's 60 degrees pi over 3 sine is the rad 3 over 2 so we have 1 minus rad 3 over 2 and that simplifies to approximate to 0.13 when it's 90 degree sine is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 now we have the coordinates at t equals 0 30 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees for for the first one when t equals 0, we have 1, 1, and 1, 1 is right here. That's our start point. That's 1, 1, 1, 1, when t equals 0. And when t equals pi over 6, we have 3 fourth 4x, that's 0.75 and half for y so we are right here that's when t equals pi over 6 the point is 3 fourth and 1 half when t equals pi over 3 we have x equals 1 fourth that's 0.25 and approximate for the y coordinate 0.13 so somewhere down 
right here. That's when t equals pi over 3. That gave me the point 1 fourth and approximate to point 13. Finally, when t equals pi over 2, we are at the origin. That's when t equals pi over 2. We have the point 0, 0. So the graph is going this way. Starting at 1, 1, going down. this way and the arrow should be going down this way that should do it but also i graphed it for you through GeoGebra, and i have the link and i'll uh, put it down in the description let me show you if i click on the link let's open it and let's see what's gonna happen so this is a graph as you can see, we're going from one, one on top, all the way down. But I'm going to take the slider all the way to the left to start at the t equals zero. When t equals zero, a equals one, one. And you could see that I have the curve with the x-coordinate cosine square, the y-coordinate one minus sine, and the parameters t we're going from 0 to pi over 2. So here we go. It's going down, as you could see, all the way down to 0. Of course, it goes back and forth, but you get the idea. One more time, I'll put the link in the description so you could see it. You could uh, play around and change some numbers if you want. Thank you.